yes, you can absolutely lose muscle, but it isn't as bad as it sounds. So don't be discouraged, because there are several ways where you can drastically reduce the amount of muscle you lose. And also there's one secret about muscle mass, which I will tell you at the end of this video. So make sure to watch till the very end. If you're short on time, I've put timestamps with titles in the description so you can go ahead and watch the part that you actually want to watch. I've also linked the studies and scientific papers I use for this video in the description. So if you want to go deeper with this topic, go ahead and read them as well. So why do we lose muscle mass? The most common reason for people to lose muscle mass is because of a lack of physical activities. If you think from the perspective of your body, then losing muscle mass is the only rational thing to do. Because your body's primary goal is to survive. And what isn't needed has to go. But there's one simple way how you can fight losing muscle. And it's by walking. It's really that easy. One study found that daily brisk walking for one hour helped to reduce the amount of muscle you lose. They compared it to losing weight with your diet only. Those subjects that lost weight only through a diet have also lost more muscle mass. But this whole diet topic brings me to my next point why so many people start to lose muscle mass. And it's because of malnutrition. If you cut down on calories, your body doesn't like that. Because this means you basically start to starve. Therefore, he starts to use your stored fat, but eventually he will also use your stored muscle. He will do that because, as I said earlier, your muscle needs energy. And when you're currently starving, at least from your body's point of view, then using all this energy for muscle isn't that good of a choice. So what does your body do? He breaks it down and uses the protein he gets to build other things that are more efficient in this situation. And this process of breaking down muscle goes faster the longer you cut. The less stored fat you have, the more muscle mass you will lose. Because from your body's point of view, there's no reason in keeping those muscles if you don't even have the fuel to actually use them. So the best thing that we could do to maximize the fat we lose, while at the same time keeping as much muscle as possible, is to eat more protein. Because if we give our body enough protein, he doesn't have to get it from our muscle. I personally eat around 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So I'm currently weighing about 70 kilograms. This means I have to eat 140 grams of protein. But a study that's researched the effects of high protein diets on diet induced weight loss came to the conclusion that 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight is enough to preserve muscle mass. But now the secret about muscle mass I promise to tell you. The secret is once you have gained muscle mass, you can regain them pretty quick, even if you go to zero. That's because of the muscle memory effect. Actually, it isn't like a memory, it is just called this way. Science doesn't really know why it works, but it works. I found a study that compared subjects that trained for 10 weeks, then stopped training for 16 weeks, and then trained for 10 weeks again with a control group that didn't train for 10 weeks in the beginning, only the 10 weeks at the end, they found that in the last week, the training group that trained in the beginning now trained with a higher training load compared to those that didn't train in the beginning. So what does this all mean for you? When you can't work out anymore, then at least go for walks. If you want to lose weight and keep your muscle mass, then you should eat at least 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And ideally, you would work out at the same time. This would make sure that your body knows that the muscles are used and needed. While at the same time, your body would have enough protein, so it doesn't have to break down the muscle to get those proteins. And even if you lose a little bit of muscle, it's not the end of the world, because due to muscle memory, you can gain this muscle back fairly quick. That's it. If you want to see more of this type of content, go ahead and subscribe to me so you don't miss any new video. And if you now want to know if you can get your protein from whey protein shakes, I made a video completely about this topic where I go through a scientific paper that analyzes whether whey protein is healthy or not. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching it. This would help me a lot. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Stay healthy and alive. Goodbye.